Operatives of the Enugu State Police Command and the Neighborhood Watch Group have rescued kidnapped victims following a contour with their abductors along Eke Ebe Road in the local government area of Enugu State. This was made known in a statement by the State Police Public Relations Officer, DSP, Daniel Ndukwe, Wednesday. According to the statement, operatives serving in Ezinze Police Division complemented by the Neighborhood Watch Group, rescued victims alleged to have earlier been kidnapped on the same date along Eke Ebe Road in the local government area after a fierce gun battle with the abductors who abandoned the victims and fled. Ndukwe said the immediate rescue was due to the team's swift response upon receipt of information alleging that the victims who were applying the road in two Mercedes Benz formatic jeeps were attacked and abducted into the forest. He said a manhunt is ongoing to arrest the abductors. The Federal High Court in Abuja has adjourned the tax evasion case against Bina Holdings Limited and its executives. The federal government dragged the crypto firm and its two top officials, T. Grant Gamayan and Lee Nadim Anjawala, to court on allegation of bordering of tax evasion. Binan was charged in a lawsuit filed under the case number FHC slash ABJ slash CR slash 115 slash 2024 of failing to register with the Federal Inland Revenue Service in order to pay all applicable taxes. The FIRS also alleged the firm neglected to send users invoices to calculate and pay their value added taxes, even though it was providing taxable services on its trading platform. The matter was adjourned following the FRI's inability to serve Gambayan the charges as he was still in EFCC's custody. Operatives of Lagos Zona Command of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC have commenced investigation of Idris Okuneye, aka Pobriske, for allegedly spraying Naira News. EFCC head media and public city Dele Oyewale disclosed this in a statement on Wednesday. The AFCC had invited a 31-year-old following a video report of spraying and flaunting words of new Naira notes at the premiere of a movie, Ka Aja Kaju, produced by Eniola Ajao, a Nollywood actress and producer, at the One Circle Mall, Lake Lagos, on March 24, 2024. According to Oyewale, investigation also revealed that he had also committed the alleged offence at some other event centres and parties at different times. Following the invitation by the Commission, the, he arrived at the Lagos Zonal Command of EFCC in the morning of Wednesday, April 3, 2024, for interrogation and volunteered his statements. Oyewale said he will soon be charged to court upon conclusion of investigations. Pastor Blessed Uzo Shikwa, the husband of Minister Messi Shimo, has filed direct criminal complaint against five individuals for criminal defamation through his lawyers. Messi Shimo's husband said the alleged acts of criminal defamation was carried out through the deliberate circulation of injurious falsehood, cyberbullying, and cyberstalking. The five defendants are Kingsley Ibe Okoronko Ejike. DJ, Spoiled Kid, Terence Eckhart, and Samuel Agosia, and they are to appear on or before the court on the 23rd of April, 2020.